I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question on linear systems. So let me put an asterisk here. This is indeed a very good question. The sum of two digit number and the number formed by interchanging its digit is 110. If 10 is subtracted from the first number, the new number is 4 more than 5 times the sum of the digits in the first number find the first number so i like you to pause the video read the question understand and then write down the equations right so let us try to understand how to give equations for such a question we are saying sum of two digit number and the number found by interchanging its digit is 110 so let's start with the let statement so say let the number be x y let's say x y so that is a two digit number do you understand so when i say x y that means y is in the ones place and x is in tens place do you see that so that is the number the sum of two digit number and number formed by interchanging its digit is 110 so if I interchange, if I interchange digits, it becomes yx. Do you see that? So if I interchange, it becomes yx. Now does that help you? So it says the sum of two digit number. Let's say this is 35. So 30 means 3 times 10 and 5 that is what it is right so it says the sum of two digit number that means sum of this and the number formed by interchange that is 110 so from the first statement let me underline this what equation do you get so from the first equation what equation do we get so what is this digit and what is the number x y the number really is 10 times x plus y since this is tens place right and this is ones place so think about place to get its value sum of two digit number and the number formed by interchanging this number value will be when you add this so this is your sum this is your first number the second number is 10 times y plus x, right? That's the second number. And this sum is 110. Do you get it? So that is how you have to form your equation. Now the second equation is, let me, uh, I mean, simplify this. 10x plus x is 11x. So you get 11x plus y plus 10y is 11y is 110. So 11 is common, x plus y is 110 or you can say x plus y is when you divide by 11 is 10 you could write one in terms of the other so any if you as you wish right so you can say uh, what x is equals to x is equals to 10 minus y whatever so in a way you can relate one number to the other from the given scenario correct okay now let's continue if 10 is subtracted from the first number, the first, if 10 is subtracted from the first number, the new number is 4 more than 5 times the sum of digits of the first number. Correct. So if you have to subtract 10 from here, so subtract 10 from, so take away, or is it subtract 10 from this number xy, right? It means what? It means the value of the number is 10x plus y, right? It is 10x plus y, take away 10. That is what it means. So it says, if 10 is subtracted from the first number, the new number is 4 more than 5 times the sum of digits of the first number. Sum of digits is x plus y, right? is 4 more than 5 times so you do 5 times this and then add 4 
for more than five times this sum. Do you get an idea? So that is how you get the second equation, right? So let's rearrange this. So what do we get here? Let me use different ink. So we have 10x plus y minus 10 equals to, open the bracket, 5x plus 5y plus 4. Now it's simpler, right? Bringing x terms together, 10x minus 5x. Well, y on this side also. y, I mean, plus minus 5y. Numbers on the other side, 4 plus 10. So that gives us 10x minus 5x is 5x. And this is minus 4y is equals to 14. So we have the second equation. Now we could do substitution or elimination. Uh, well, since I wrote x equals to 10 minus y, let me substitute that here now. So we'll write 5 times 10 minus y minus 4y equals to 14. 50 minus 5y minus 4y equals to 14. So that gives you 50 minus 14 equals to bringing it to the right side, 9y. And uh, let's use calculator. Now, so 50 minus 14 is equals to 36. So with 36 equals to 9y, and that gives you y equals to 36 divided by 9, which is 4. Perfect. So we get the value of y as 4. And if y is 4, x is 10 minus 4, which is 6. Do you see that? Now we get find the first number. So clearly, first number is 64, right? So the first number is 64. Where x is 6, y is 4. Do you get an idea? So that is how the question can be solved. And now you can figure out if I had 64 here and then 46 here, when you add, you do get 110. Do you see that? So it makes sense. So I'd like you to go through this uh, explanation and the way we made equations. It could be tricky. Understand this part, right? And then move ahead. I hope you appreciate it. Feel free to write your comments, share your views. And if you like and subscribe, that'll be great. Thank you and all the best.